Hey guys, so today I wanted to go ahead and make a video on the iPod Nano 6th generation jailbreak. Uh, now I've gotten a bunch of messages this morning and last night about it. Um, you know, a lot of people have been talking about it. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's legitimately pretty good, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video because a lot of people are kind of getting a little overblown and are not quite understanding exactly what this is. Um, so the first thing I want to say, this is not a jailbreak, this is just a mod, and there is a key difference. Um, so before I go ahead and talk about it, I just want to back up just a step. Um, of course, the iPod uh, Nano 6th generation, you know, the square one with the touch screen, uh, the latest Nano, of course, it's not, um, it's not, doesn't run iOS, so it doesn't run, you know, the iPhone, the iPod Touch, but it also doesn't run, you know, the previous iPod Nano operating system. And this is important. It runs a mashup of the two. So basically what Apple did was they took some good parts about iOS, so for example, the springboard, some stuff like that, and they also took some good parts about the previous Nano operating system, kind of mashed it up, and that's what we have. Now the key thing is that it is not iOS, so it's not like it's going to be simple to go ahead and just port an app over once it's jailbroken or anything like that. It's going to be require a bunch of new work, a bunch of new tools and everything to get this done. So that's just one thing I do want to keep you know keep in mind. You're never going to see you know Black Rain or Lime Rain or whatever that's going to work on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPod Nano. It's not going to quite work like that. Um, so anyway, we'll go ahead and explain uh, what this is. Is that it is going to be you know it's like uh, it's a mod. It's a it's a hack. It's not a jailbreak. Basically what he was able to do, and actually it's pretty cool, I think he did it in like about uh, the time, I think while he was on the plane, he was able to hack it. Um, basically to go ahead and bypass the check that, you know, make sure that, you know, the springboard file that, you know, that, that runs the, you know, the home screens or anything is legitimate. So basically he was able to bypass that and then change it up however he wanted to. Uh, now while this is good, this is great, um, it does not quite mean a full jailbreak. There's no root access, you, you can't install apps, you can't do anything like that. Basically you can do a few minor things. Now what this does mean is that probably in the near future you'll be able to go ahead through some you know tool or whatever that you'll probably hook up, kind of similar to how you would with jailbreaking, maybe go ahead and enable games, calendars, some different things like that. However, this does not mean that you're going to be able to go ahead and download, you know, like a, a game or anything like that just yet. It just means that the possibility is there sometime in the future. Um, so anyway guys, that's about it. I just wanted to go ahead and make this video, clear up a lot of the rumors and everything. Don't expect, you know, to go ahead and download City on your iPod Nano and, you know, tomorrow and be able to do all this kind of stuff. Uh, it might eventually happen. I think it would be cool. The screen kind of does limit a lot of what you can do, but it is possible. It is really cool. Um, but just keep in mind that, you know, this is a nice step forward, but it is not a jailbreak by any means. It's just a little tweak that you can do a few things with. Might evolve, might not, who knows. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.